Don't blame Donald Trump for skipping the debate. Blame the Republican National Committee and Rents Priebus. They concocted this system of debates allowing the mainstream media to run amok, control, and ruin the GOP's nomination process. Joining me now from New York City, conservative political commentator Ann Coulter. Ann, uh, what a week for the Republican National Committee. In, in one week, they banned National Review from the debate. And then a few days later, Donald Trump bans himself from the debate because the RNC is not putting the mainstream media in its proper place, allowing it to run amok, uh, if you will. Uh, Rents Priebus, if you're writing a how-to manual for the self-destruction of the Republican Party, I think this would be chapter one. Reins is actually one of the better players in this disaster. Um, I must say, this is, I've been involved in politics for a long time, right starting with, at least publicly, um, with Bill Clinton uh, molesting White House interns. I've never had such an exciting week in politics. This is huge. Your viewers have to understand what um, an earthquake has gone up and off in politics this week, what, what, what people may not understand, and it's confusing. So um, I can't say I really understand it. The head of Fox News, of News Corp, Rupert Murdoch, um, is massively open borders, pro-amnesty. I don't know why. He's like Michael Bloomberg or George Soros. He is for open borders. The Fox News network is for open borders. This is confusing to people um, because they think of Fox, which is fair and balanced on every other issue. And a lot of conservatives look at Fox and think, well, this is the conservative station. They must be giving us, they must be giving us the, the, the best argument against amnesty. Oh, no, you aren't. Oh, no, you will not hear about the amnesty fight in the Senate. You will not hear any crossword about Mr. Amnesty John McCain um, or Mr. Amnesty Marco Rubio, which is why after all six Republican debates so far, um, all the analysts on Fox News, the body language experts, um, the Frank, Frank Lund's po focus groups are all announcing what? Rubio won. Rubio won. And then, you know, the polls come out and everyone says Trump. I would agree with what you're saying, except I would even expand it further and to my point. Uh, and that is the Republican National Committee has allowed Fox News to get away with this. So the blame is not with, with, with that network or any other network, CNN or uh, MSNBC, that wants to blast away at the Republican candidates. This is the Republican nomination process. And to allow the mainstream media, which we know to be biased and have has been biased uh, since we can remember. Uh, to, to control what is happening is a huge mistake on the part of the Republican National Committee. And I believe there is still time that they could fix it, that they could stop this nonsense and relegate the mainstream media to what they should be, Anne, and that is reporters, instead of affecting uh, the nomination process and the outcome of the presidency, possibly. I would say... Fox News is way bigger than the RNC. Of course the RNC jumps when Fox says jump. Fox is the conservative network. When you say mainstream media, I'm saying Fox. At least when you're watching MSNBC, NBC, ABC, CBS, people know, okay, mainstream media, they're liberal. If they do something spiteful, nasty, unfair to want to a Republican candidate, say Donald Trump, well, that's the mainstream media. Look at how the... Uh, conservatives, viewers, the RNC, all the candidates erupted in rage at the snippy questions during that CNBC debate. Look at how everyone reacted then. Nobody would say anything about Fox News because it's Fox News has this monopoly on conservative opinion. It is incredibly dangerous. It's gotten, it's been going on for a long time, but nobody wants to say anything. Bright, I'm, Trump has liberated us. Trump is finally the first one to stand up to to a network that, that portrays itself as the conservative network, fair and balanced, and right. it is fair and balanced on everything else. Here's how the RNC should have handled this portion of the nomination process. A series of Republican debates hosted by conservative organizations, publications, and universities, of which there are plenty. The RNC would be the sole arbiter of the content the questions, and who shall be the moderators. As for the role of the mainstream media, simple. Report. Just report, baby. I'm Graham Ledger.